Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, so today it's not raining. <laughs> That's the big news flash. It's not raining. Oh, good Lord. I don't know if it's the same the whole country, but we have had so much rain. It's now beyond the joke. Um, I, I, it's so depressing. I think I'm going slightly hysterical because it's not raining today. <laughs> that tells you how bad it is. Um, like the forest is swamped. It's like a quagmire. And that means that every time Dolly goes out for a walk, she comes back and she's so dirty. And, you know, the kind of knock-on effects are just horrible. And it is depressing, isn't it, when it's just day after day. I mean, what was... Oh, I mean, I can't even remember. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. That's England for you or the UK. I think uh, we probably don't get as much here in the south as, as others do further north. But, yeah, it's pretty miserable. So I am very much looking to spring coming. I've got some nice deaths on the table here that a friend bought me. And uh, there's snowdrops and deaths in the garden. So the spring is coming and uh, it'll be March soon. So we're on that last bit. And um, because I do like to go off on a tangent, it's just made me recall that uh, our eldest, Katie, the, the day she was born, which was the 26th of April. And if she had been born that day, I wouldn't remember this. But it was an actual blizzard that day. I remember lying in the in the bed, just watching the blizzard, snow blizzard going across the windows, the 26th of April. So that whole saying of ne'er cast a clout till May is out, which basically means don't put your, your coat away until uh, the end of May, is very, very true. And then just a few years later, my friend had her baby on the same date and it was so hot that uh, we had balloons decorating the garden and they were they were heated up and bursting it was so hot so exactly the same day so that's how this country the weather varies and um yeah you know there's a saying if you don't like the weather wait a minute because you can have literally four seasons in one day so anyway i know you didn't come on here for a weather for Good Lord, what am I like? Anyway, I'm doing a um, a two haul today and I'm glad the sun is shining and I'll tell you why. Um, I've got three or four dresses, I think, a pair of jeans, two shirts and three swimsuits. We'll see. You might not get to see the swimsuits on me if, if they're horrific on me then I'll just show you them obviously I'm not going to do the full full view because I'm too self-conscious to do that and that's my decision um for all you know the confidence that um I have and the fact that I am now at peace with my size and my body there's still bits that I don't particularly want to put out there for the world to see. You know, it'd be different if I bumped into you on a beach or a swim, uh, swimming pool. But uh, in, in the privacy of my own home, I don't have to do that. So I hope you respect that. Um, I'm sure you will. You're all lovely, or mostly. <laughs> mostly. Um, so, yeah, I'll crack on with that haul now and uh, be interesting. I mean, the prices are very good. And, um, you know, there's a lot of cotton um, and stuff in there. So, yeah, without further ado, before I do that, so there is further ado, I just wanted to say, um, reference the air fryer video that uh, I did the other day, the Kasori air fryer oven. And lots of people commented on the noise. But the problem with it was that the microphone, the way they wanted the video filmed, and they were very, very specific, went against my advice, but, you know, that's up to them. They wanted the the oven between me and the camera, and the microphone is in the camera. And so 
I was kind of behind the noise. You know, it wasn't silent. I'm not going to pretend it was silent because it wasn't, but it wasn't as loud as maybe as it, it came across um, on the video. Probably not a lot different to an, a normal oven. So I just wanted to clear that up because some people were like, good Lord, you know, it sounds like aircraft taking off. It really, it really didn't in real life. So just in balance, I just wanted to put that out there. And now I'll get on with it. Now this first dress is um, 28 pounds. It's 100% cotton and it's navy blue seersucker. And honestly, for 28 pounds, I, I think it's remarkable. It's, um, it's a nice, it's not, I was gonna say, it's not very seersuckery. I'm not sure it's a verb, but it's, it's kind of got texture, but it's not like, you know, some seer, seersucker is really kind of bubbly and this isn't. So it has got the texture um, and it's all the way down with rouleau loops and covered buttons, a long sleeve, which, you know, we have discussed long sleeves with summer dresses, but I think this is a really good um, kind of spring into summer piece. It's got quite a low V but not too low in my opinion um, it fits nicely it's got this seam here and the gathered um, top uh, seam at the back it's a nice length I've got it on with my color trainers um, which as you know are super comfortable and um, I think my discount 15% discount is still valid on these HMJ 15 so if you are looking to get, if you've got problem feet at all, wide feet, bunions, anything like that, and the inner, inner soles come out so you can put in your orthotics if you need them. So um, like this, this video isn't for colour, but I really love their shoes. So I'm just telling you what I like. Um, yeah, so I, I think this is an excellent dress. And because it's got the... Um, the elasticated sleeve you can pull it up or you could easily alter it i mean i might be inclined to turn it into a three-quarter sleeve but i do think it's very smart actually ideal if you you know if you're working in an office environment and you need it to, to be that little bit smarter than maybe a regular summer dress fits really nicely i'm very impressed So that's dress number one. I've got another, I've got another blue dress, I think. In fact, I've got three because I've got a denim dress too. I do love a denim dress. So I'll go and put the next one on. So this is um, another 100% cotton dress. And this is actually the one that led me to the order. You know when you're on Facebook and they pop up those, those adverts? And I saw this and I thought, oh, I love that. I love a bit of brochure on clothes. <laughs> don't know why I just really do and this one is 38 pounds um and it's it's a lot of dress for the money it's got the collar it's buttoned through all the way and then it's tiered so the body and skirt is lined the sleeves are not lined and you can see it is a really lovely broderie anglaise um I love that no pockets but that's understandable at that price point 38 pounds um these are all i haven't ironed these at all so they're all out of the um out of the bag they've been hanging up for a couple of days so i'll just uh see if that's better better view for you so it fits nicely as i said before i'm a standard 18 um heavier on the legs than the top but i am standard 18 and uh, i'm five foot six and I'm 66. So um, again, this fits really nicely, I think. I mean, I, I think this is a really lovely dress. You could easily put a nice leather belt on this and take it up a level. You could wear it undone with a vest top underneath. It's, um, it's a lovely color of blue as well. I don't know how well that comes across. It's it's what I'd call a true navy, not too dark. Really good. I keep 
bunch of white threads all over the place. Um, I think this will sell out really quickly, to be honest with you, because a dress like this in some other stores would be in the 60, 70 pound bracket. So I know 38 is, is um, higher end for two. Two, if, if ladies aren't from this country, it's um, a super, it's Sainsbury Supermarkets clothing brand. Um, it's got nice covered uh, loops for the belt here. You know, it's not just strings. It really is excellent. And I don't know, I'm sorely tempted. But then I really like the last one as well. I mean, how many dresses does a woman need? I, I've got to have another clear out. It's, uh, I did my swimsuits this week and I got rid of about nine swimsuits. So, because I really always go back to a two piece, but I do like the look of a swim. Oh, I don't know. I'm just a nightmare really. But getting organized does help you be more selective. So uh, yeah, that's dress number two. Very, very, very nice. Like I say, all fully lined in here. Um, Top notch, top notch. Uh, this dress is um, Fisco's polyester mix and it's kind of crinkly. It's 28 pounds, size 18 again, they're all 18s. Um, it's got these kind of gold buttons. I thought I was gonna be able to show you it actually because I couldn't get this one undone. It's a little bit tight on my bust. It's pulling open on my bust, which is annoying because I think it is quite a nice dress actually. It's, it's got this um, belt on the back, which I would cut off and I would probably wear it with um, a natural leather belt because I think this has that whole kind of utility style. But as you can see, it is gaping there. I'm not gonna pretend it isn't. You'll all tell me it is. So, you know, it is, I agree with you. But I could wear it with a vest and have that open and that, that, would, that would kind of get rid of that problem because it fits me fine everywhere else. In fact, I think a white t-shirt under this would actually look really good with the white um, trainers too. You know, it'd give you that kind of contrast. I love the colour. It's kind of a, a grey khaki. I think they call it um, mushroom. Yeah, it is mushroom. That's exactly the colour it is. I should look at the description, shouldn't I? Um, I like it very much, but as I say, it's just a tad too tight on me. It fits me perfectly on the shoulders. So it's just my um, boobs that are too much for it. But um, it's, it's a very, very nice dress. It's very lightweight. Um, it might be a bit clintastic, I don't know, around my uh, love handles. Um, but, you know, it's what it is. So uh, yeah, it, it is a nice dress. It's just too small for me here and I really don't need it, but uh, it's a good buy, 20, 28 quid. This is a size 18, 100% cotton denim dress, 28 pounds. Again, it's a little bit tight on the boobs, um, but I would happily wear this one kind of like this because it it kind of stays where it's put, being, being kind of a firmer fabric. It's really nice. Uh, long sleeves. And I think for £28, it's an excellent example. It's got quite a high waist, actually. I've got a long body, I know, but it's quite high, which is quite slimming. Button through, mid-calf. Again, I'm five foot six, no pockets. It's got these seams all the way down. I mean, I think it's really, really lovely. I just really, really, really don't need another denim dress in my wardrobe. So I'm probably gonna to have to write that out in lines or something. I do not need another denim dress. But I'm ever so tempted. <laughs> I'll see, I'll look at the video. I think without doubt, I'm gonna end up choosing at least one of these dresses, the, the plain navy or the um, brochure, the seersucker or the brochure anglaise uh, are my kind of two favourites at the moment but uh, like I really think you could elevate this dress if you put a natural 
um, tan leather belt on this. You could wear it with boots right now with a, a t-shirt underneath or a jumper, a cardigan. You can have it open. I mean, it's a really, really versatile dress and really, really excellent value for money. So, um, yeah, it's a winner. Winner, winner. So the first thing you can see is this uh, brochure on glazed white oversized shirt. So when it said it was oversized, I got it in 16 because I didn't want it huge. Um, and it fits absolutely fine. It's a little bit big on the shoulders, but I think that's the design. And this is £25, pure cotton. I put a vest top underneath it, partly because I've got a black bra on. And, uh, and then I've got the jeans, which are there. They're in a 20 because they didn't have an 18. I think I probably could have got an 18. Uh, they're regular and they are £16. That's so good, isn't it? Um, I've still got them on with the Calla trainers because that's, that's how I'd be wearing them. So they're a nice shape, I think. Um, they're not like big, big, but um, I, I, I don't know. They're quite stretchy, so I probably could have got away with um, an 18, and they're certainly big on my waist here. Um, but they're very, very comfortable. And I think I will actually try and order those for 16 pounds. I think they're a great, great shape. And this is a lovely shirt for holidays. Um, and you could wear this as a cover up too, couldn't you? So, um, yeah, I'm, I, oh, I should have paid more attention. I, I saw a thing the other day about how to make these kind of shirts more like, um, you know, blouse them up so that, mind you, I mean, I never really have that, you know, you can kind of play, there's a thing you can find it online where you kind of uh, tuck those in to each other or something and then you end up with more of a bloused um, look but I didn't, I didn't read, I didn't watch it properly before I came on. But yeah, I think probably I could have gone smaller, but then smaller would be tight. But, you know, you kind of need your jeans to be tight the first day, don't you? So that they're still okay the second day. I think they're so stretchy. I think they would have been okay in a smaller size. But I think um, £25 for a pure cotton blouse and £16 for jeans you really really can't argue with that can you and i know lots of our viewers in places like australia canada america they cannot believe uh, the value of the clothes that we have here and just in the supermarket so that's those so now we're moving on to um the brave bit um where i will see about these swimsuits I must be mad. Anyway, you might not see them, so. <laughs> so in um, Sainsbury's, two at Sainsbury's, they didn't do long like, long length in the swimsuits. So I did buy them in a 20. Um, but this one, even in a 20, is not long enough. Um, I bought this shirt. Um, it's actually a, um, a dress, but it looks more like a, a nightgown. Um, it was only £16, and this is actually in a 14, so it shows you it's very, very oversized. But I think it looks like a nightgown, so um, I'll just show you that first. So you can see, you know, I thought it would work. Well, I suppose, I mean, it does work as a cover-up if you can get past the fact that I think it looks like a nightgown. Now, the swimsuit, you can see, I mean, it's just, I can't get it high enough to to do anything for my boobs it's just they're just hanging like a I don't know what let's not go there but I thought the navy with the white was really lovely um and slimming but it's just not long enough in the body it's got cups and if um you haven't got a long body I think it's a really really flattering swimsuit having that definition there it's very clever it makes you look a lot narrower here but for me I mean, I would spend my whole time, and I've got it pulled up so high, it's not a pretty sight. So, um, yeah, so it doesn't work for me at all. But if you've got a shorter body, 
for 16 pounds. I would worry about the blue running into the white and I can't bear that. You know, when the white stops being really white, but I guess with hand washing, cold hand washing, you should be okay. And that's really, you know, the best thing for your swimwear anyway. So um, neither of these pieces work for me. I'll be keeping the shirt on again because, well, because. So I'll go and pop the second swimsuit on. And uh, when, I, when I tried on the pink swimsuit, uh, from Marks and Spencer's, which did really fit well. Um, and I said, I better get this off before Rob comes in. Well, now I better get this done before the dog walker comes in and thinks that I'm actually start raving bonkers. I think she does anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see what the next one's like. You'll see there's a theme here, apart from the saggy boobs, is um, they're all blue because I thought if, if this worked as a, an overshirt, um, which the jury's out really. I'm kind of feeling like it looks less nighty-ish, but maybe I'm just deluded. But um, this swimsuit is very, very comfortable. Um, it's got this kind of fixed wire here. But I mean, again, you know, this is why I prefer to wear a two-piece because in a two-piece, I can get my boobs up here quite happily because it's just like a bra and I wear a high-waisted, um bottom half and then you know it's just this bit here and because i wear them i've got a brown belly which always looks better anyway but then there's fake tan for that is this one is a lot softer um i don't know if i said 18 pounds that's how much it was is um but it just is not long enough in my body i mean um you know the downside of my long body is short legs but um if, I, if I'm going to be wearing a swimsuit, then I really want my boobs not to be just kind of hanging, hanging low. Reminds me of that song. Do your boobs hang low? Can you tie them in a bow? Um, I don't know why I put on a northern accent for that. <laughs> like this, because uh, my grandkids sing it. Not that they've got northern accents either, but their dad has. Anyway, he won't be watching this. Um... Yeah, so it doesn't work for me, but really good value if you haven't got the long body stitch that I have. So uh, one last one. Now this final one is a lovely colour blue, um, like a real dark powder blue. This is 18 pounds as well. And it is better insofar as because it's cut straight across, you're not seeing um, the boobs kind of droopy drawers um but it's still you know it doesn't do a lot for me does it really apart from the color which i absolutely love if this was in a in a two-piece i'd snap it up so um it has got the adjustable straps and um it is it's got this nice texture too which uh is very comfortable so <clears throat> that's it i probably well i can't imagine that i'll show you any more swimsuits they're hard work for one thing um i think that piece of plastic is just stuck against my leg but anyway never mind um so that's me for today um what am i doing next oh i a lady messaged and said could i have a look at this brand called popsy and so I had a look online and I was kind of intrigued. So I have ordered a few dresses from there. It's a, I've never heard of it before, so I don't suppose many of you have either. Um, but I haven't tried them on at all. So I will be doing that next. And uh, yeah, so I hope you have a good day, week. I don't know when this is going out, but um, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye.